Welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast, guys. Before we get into the episode, we want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace.com, where dreams become websites. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash Friday. You're going to save 10% on your first purchase for a website or a domain. Let's get into the episode. This is for me. This isn't for you. This isn't for Liam. This isn't for the listeners driving right now with their eyes t- closed as tight as they possibly can close them. Come on, guys, close your eyes as tight as possible after this drum roll. Man. Do you think I would get sued if someone actually did that? What? <laughs> like, no. Like, they were closing their eyes? No. I guess they wouldn't be able to prove that. No, I don't think so. That'd be hilarious, though, if we killed someone we didn't even realize it. I would. That'd, that'd make me hard. Welcome back to the Almost Friday Podcast. It's Will. It's Liam. Hey, guys. And you know her name. It's Emily Binder recovering from a little car accident. <laughs> Uh oh, you, you knocked your noggin, didn't you? Uh, yeah. So How do you feel? I am okay. Thankfully, no one was hurt except my feelings when the first person in the office that I saw afterwards was Liam and he walks up to me and just laughing. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty funny. It was pretty funny. What if I was hurt? Would it be funny? No. Mm, yeah. No. Well, well I didn't like, see I didn't see the photo. When I saw the photo, I went, "Oh, crap, that's that's pretty bad." It's just funny. let me re- what was the actual text? <laughs> it was really dramatic and Well, it was a dramatic situation. I wasn't trying to be dramatic. I just wanted to let you guys know ahead of You were being dramatic. Then we got in the car a day after and she's like, oh, "I have PTSD. I don't want to get in the car. I have anxiety." I'm like, she, she "Shut got, up." She got, "Shut up, chick." <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Color's like, shut Woman. up. Color's like, shut up, chick. I'm not joking. I literally Bro, did. Bro's actually in his bag right now. <laughs> Color's actually bulletproof. It's fucking untouchable. Oh, man. Oh, man. man what, what won't we say? I was anxious in the car the next day. Of course well, I'm going to be anxious in the car. Not PTSD, but just like anxiety. Yeah. I, I, th- I think Liam's just having, f- he's yeah, having a little too having, much fun. I'm having a little bit too much fun. Just, I'm, and I'm then, yeah, we, we did make you drive an hour. To uh, Compton to shoot a YouTube video. Mm. Something so bad. Think. Something bad happens to Emily in it, guys. Stay tuned. It's oh, probably. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm sure everyone will be celebrating that. Yeah, but did your laugh? Ooh, did your life flash before your eyes? Yeah, I mean, I think I like saw it. Like I saw her like turning towards me, and I just saw that it was not avoidable so i just tried to be as safe as possible in that mm-hmm. sense. what'd she look like and, and what was her vibe okay funny story i n- went to get, get a rental car afterwards mm-hmm. and of course they're like asking for my license i pull my license out of my wallet and i'm like why do i have two licenses i look at them i have her fucking license i must have like taken it when i was taking photos of her that's hilarious. And I don't know how to get it. Like, do I just mail it to her? Do I text her? Like, With, I don't want to. In that situation, you can just take the license and literally, you know, those. Um, <laughs> you can no. I'm not kidding. You can literally drop it into a sewer drain. Tell her to go. Say <laughs> <laughs> <To> get fucked. <laughs> get fucked. You just got bindered. Good you luck got, getting on an airplane to see your sick grandparents. You just got bindered. You just got bindered. But yeah, but the good news is I just got an email from her insurance saying that she's liable. So well, you yeah. can have her license. Good luck picking up your prescription that your sick daughter needs at the CVS. You just got bindered. <laughs> Was she pretty? Was she prettier than me? Not than you. Oh my Emily, God, go never. to YouTube. Thank you. Type in um, Incredibles ending scene. Here we go. This is Emily. <laughs> <laughs> You just got binded. <laughs> tunnel tunnel it around. around. <laughs> this beneath me. I I was so happy when Incredibles two came out and they started the movie with this. Uh, I gotta rewatch this movie, dude. It's so good. Which one? The first or the second one? Both of them. Uh, yeah, I think the first one is like one of my favorite movies of all time. Would you look up the Incredibles cast? I want to see who voices these 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 characters have grown to love so much. Yeah. Oh God, you have such a way with words. Yeah. Jason Lee's Syndrome. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. I don't know how I didn't put it together that Samuel L. Jackson is Frozone, but that makes sense. Really? Yeah, I did not put that together. Oh, I feel like, but that's that's one of the most 
that's one of his most popular quotes he's ever done in a movie. Well, what? we were we were working. We've been working every weekend for like a fucking month. Me, Angus, and and Falbo from from the Falbonian Twist. And and it's true. It's been what's what's today, Emily? The thirtieth. So we've been working twenty seven days. I've been uh, spending eight to ten hours a day with you for twenty seven days in a row. Mm-hmm. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It makes this a lot harder. Yeah, this is impossible. Because I got we come in here and we we throw the scraps. Yeah, on the we've table already had. We talk about. So I already know everything about you. That's what I was thinking about Tyler. I was like, damn, this is all juicy, con- juicy conversations that... Juicy convo. Juicy convos that, that nobody else would get to hear. But they do this thing where they act like I'm drunk, and I show up drunk that I'm drinking secretly and, and getting high. And it's a lot of fun. But sometimes it, 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 it isn't for me. Yeah, well, if it was a real problem, we wouldn't do it that way. It's true. It's true. I haven't been, I haven't been on the sauce. Yeah, but when you say it like that, now it's like, yeah, true. I used to drink a ton. Now I don't. We're just picking on you because it's because you're an easy target, dude. I know. And you've always been an easy target. Yeah. And I like to get a reaction out of you. I get a rise out of you. I get a rise out of you. It gives me a rise if you know what I mean. I do. I do know. What you do mean. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right, and um, what were you about to say before this whole tangent? <coughs> I don't even remember. Um. I don't remember what we were talking about. My car accident. Yep. Oh, yeah. You ever been in a car accident? Knock on wood, brother. Uh, I have been in a car accident. All right. Knock. Well. Oh, you want me to. I have been in a car accident. I was backing out of the garage in my apartment in my dad's car. And I just fully turned into a giant, like, concrete pole and completely destroyed the passenger door. That's the only accident I've ever been in was backing into a pole. Mm. I've been in a it's really embarrassing. And the worst part is, <laughs> the worst part is it kind of happened twice. And it was the same mechanic the second time. The first time he was like, oh. What happened? A pole, a pole jumped out in front of you and, and attacked you? And I was like, ah. And then he did that the second time. I don't know if he remembered, but he like used the same line on me. Speaking of which, I got a, I, okay, I got a line that I would love to say in a movie one day. Ooh, hit me. Sorry, I'm turning off. I realize my alarms are on. I was going to come up with multiple of these, but I did this literally right when we were walking in. Only one problem, constable. You left the cheese in the trap. I like that. I like that. I think that should go in Agent <laughs> London. What? That's an Agent London line. That could be. <clears throat> or a, a side uh, tiny one, like the shop. You guys should come up with more of those. I would like to hear more. Um, I'd like to. Just uh, I ran out of time this morning. If I'm being completely honest with my little listeners, my little listeners, my turfs. <sighs> I forgot. I told the story of my friend back, his mom back in out of their driveway when they're going to school and she ran over their dog. Yeah, I think he did. Mm, ouch. I want to call him and ask him what that was like. The weirdest thing is I witnessed three car accidents this past weekend after my accident. Two were like right as they were happening, like car smoking, like them already, them getting out of the car. So I don't know what life is trying to tell me, but. It's probably nothing. Life's like a highway. It's probably, it's probably nothing. Uh, I hope so. What did you do this weekend, Emily? Anything? I went to I went to Knott's Berry Farm and went on all the roller coasters. What is Knott's Berry Farm? Knott's Berry Farm. Sorry. It's like an amusement park. Thought you were going to go to Disney World. I was, but it's so fucking expensive. I'm just like not a Disney girl, so it's not worth it. Oh, I saw a crazy Disney adult video the other day. It's a Disney adult sitting on like a podcast. Do you have it? Mm-hmm. Well, let's play it. What are we doing? Pussyfooting around. Yep, yep, yep. Thumbs up our arse. It, uh, actually, this, this, this might be my cracker of the week. Real quick while Liam's doing that, if you haven't watched Scavenger's Reign, it's one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. Go watch it on HBO Max. It's the best show ever. No free pump promos, Will. Emily, I'm pouring my freaking heart and guts out here. We can keep it. Sorry, Blue. Ew, who was looking up the craziest birds? Craziest birds ever? Pro- I guarantee that's got Willie's fingerprints all over it. Yeah, let's dive into that. Let's look up the craziest bird. And then maybe maybe after we look up the craziest bug. We'll talk about Antonio Brown. 
Oh, yes, 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 yes. Is that what you... Oh, well, oh I, I thought s- you meant... Okay, yeah. I want to see your video, your Disney... Look up adult. Craziest Bug. Find it. Sorry. Yeah, look up Craziest Bug. Craziest Bug 2024. What is it? This is about to become a remote hacks video. Yeah. Cicada broods. What do you think a bug is thinking when it's building a cocoon around itself? That's got to be strange. It probably feels like really good. <laughs> There's a scene like that in Scavenger's Rain. There's a story here. Now there's a story here. I gotta get back into Scavenger's Rain. There's a story here. Em- the- Emily telling me about how she got concussed and her car got destroyed and it's gonna financially ruin her. She's blabbing about that. This is me. There's a story here. There's a story here. You know what Angus did the other day? It's my new bit, by the way. I I laughed internally at, but I didn't say out loud because I want to crush his spirits. We show up, we show up to work on something, Mm -hmm. and Angus goes, "I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to finish a chapter of my book before we start." (laughs) Whips out his Kindle and finishes a chapter of his book. I respected the play. I was reading it in the morning, and then Tyler had to go uh, on his phone call. So I said, "I know if I don't address it, everyone's going to look at me and be like." You really pulling out your Kindle right now? It was a really good chapter, and we weren't working. So I wanted to get ahead of it. I wanted to beat the allegations. I wanted to let them know I understand what I look like, what I'm doing, with all the context wrapped up that it, that doesn't go over my head. And I'm just gonna lay it out on the line. Tell you, I'm gonna read a chapter of my book. I respect it. I respect it. And tell let's tell tell everyone about the book you're reading. Children of Time, nice sci-fi novel. I gotta get off sci-fi though. Why, dude? Feel like it's. I've read so many sci-fi books this last year. It's, they're the they're kind of starting to blend together. I need to go into some high fantasy. Mm-hmm. You got to got to read Project Blue Book. Yep, I will. I'll uh, do that in between. What is that about? Blue Book? No, no, no. The book you're reading now. Um, it is about. It's hard to explain. Let me move on. It's hard to explain. You do you want to do this? You actually want this on the pod? How hard is it to... You actually think this is good airtime? You actually think this is a good conversation? I'm genuinely serious. I'm just wondering. I'm genuinely serious. I'm just wondering. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice. I thought people would want to know. No one cares. Maybe. Everyone wants to see me do a character and jack off on my tummy. It's true. I want to see you scratch it and rub it in. (laughs) Emily, go to Antonio Brown's Twitter. Or, I'm sorry, his ex. Cause they, cause, yeah, I just dead-named Twitter. Sorry, woke assholes. Sorry, woke fucks. Keep going until you see Cracker of the Week. Well, Crack, so, and- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you say that's him and Big Ben? This does look like me and Big Ben. Hashtag okay. CTESPN. So, yeah, Antonio Brown, um, big proponent of CTE, big anti-NFL uh corporate stooge there we go as it would be put on the pat mcafee show uh antonio brown started doing cracker of the week i think he does cracker of the month he cracker of the day i think it started with uh cracker of the month i think he's kind of doing luca was cracker of the day recently um Will submitted to be cracker of the day yeah let me see if he responded i i really do think that like I don't know. It's like Chet believes he belongs on Survivor. You believe you belong in rehab. I genuinely believe I belong on, uh, on Cracker of the Week on his page. So Cracker is a word that we're going to start using a lot. Well, hold on. Uh, who who got Cracker of the Week? Purdy? Who else? Um, it's it's a lot of NFL players. So I think the scope is pretty narrow. The the big one, the the first one was that lineman from the Titans, I believe. Yeah. Is Max Crosby Cracker of the Year? Yeah. I think he might be. Uh, oh, Luca got Cracker of the Month. That's the first one. That's the first one. Go up. Yeah, this one right here. Oh, sorry. Go, go down, no, go down. Down, 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 down. One, yeah, right there. C-T-E-S-P-N <laughs> Report. C-T-E-S-P-N Report. Cracker of the Month. Daniel Bru- Brunskill. Daniel Brunskill. Look at that guy. That guy's a beast. Yeah, he's a big log. Holy shit. Titans are going to be good, dude. Hey. Shout out. Shout out. 
Taking a quick break to talk about prize picks. We love them. It is a skill-based, real money, daily fantasy sports game. How does it work? Well, you pick two to six players, and if they will go more or less than their prize picks projection, you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. Now, guess what, guys? It's that time of the year. NBA demons and goblins have arrived. You've seen them lurking on the NFL squares. Now, our new friends are ready to crash the NBA board. Here's a quick recap of how they work. Demons are a little wild. They're statistically harder to win, but the entry qualifies for higher payouts up to 100 times. Goblins love the green. They're statistically easier to win, but they come with lower payout multipliers. You got options, guys. You got options on how you want to play and how you want to win and how you want to 100x your money. We used Demons and Goblins last week. Let's see how we did. Okay, pretty good with David Montgomery. Jameer Gibbs, a little lower than we liked. Christian McCaffrey, a little lower than we liked. But that's what we get. We were playing with Demons. But guess what? I'm having too much fun. I'm going to pick a couple more Demons. NBA, let's do NBA. Cameron Johnson points... Um, Wednesday. Who do they play? Phoenix? Mm. Yeah, let's do more on him. Jared Allen. What do we got for Jared Allen? Yes. Do more. More on 11 and a half rebounds. Okay. Entry, 20 bucks. Perfect. Place that entry. Price Picks is now live in Tennessee and West Virginia with the new game mode, Prize Picks. Pick a Marina. And last but not least, we're thrilled to announce the Super Bowl free square featuring Patrick Mahomes. Heard of him, you freaking idiot. Patrick Mahomes just needs to exceed 0.5 passing yards for a win. Um, yeah, I think he'll be doing that. Download Price Picks. Let's get back into the episode. All right, so anyway, Antonio Brown has sparked the Kendall inside my heart. He's lit a fire. We got a new segment for you guys. That's where we come in. It's time for... Cracker of the week. (laughs) (laughs) Cracker of the week. Wow, that was great, Emily. Great, I'm all fired up now. Who made Emily? Did you make that? You did the voice work for that. You made it. I did the voice work. I made it, and he did the voice work. So great job, Emily. Let's add some. Let's add some reverb on my voice. Okay. Um, so Cracker of the Week, I, we also now... Are- Whoa, what is this? Dude, so you this is- you and I are going head-to-head, bastard. So this is our roster. I ought, ki- I ought to kill this fucker, but I love him, so I'll see this out. This is our roster so far. We have a winner from last week, Nathaniel Scorch. Nathaniel Scorch. Go follow him if you haven't on TikTok, YouTube, everything. Make some beautiful, gorgeous music. Yeah, read the, Liam, read this wonderful comment he left on our YouTube. I'm actually speechless. I've honestly been crying for like 30 minutes. You found my song somehow and said such nice things. I've actually been going through a lot of depression lately, and that completely snapped me out of it. Thank you so much. You're the greatest. Thank you, Nathaniel. Thank you, Nathaniel. Um, your song was enchanting. Uh, it, it, it was inspirational. It filled me with... A very calming, introspective sort of feeling that I carried on my shoulders through the weekend. But I knew that you carried that weight as well. You helped lift that burden off of me. The warm, I felt warm. You did. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well. So how does this work, Emily? I won? Yeah, well, I think we decided that we're just going to have whoever we pick as the cracker of the week. Whoever whoever's pick that is gets mm-hmm. that person on their team, and then once we have enough team mem- members, we'll just battle them all out. Yeah. Also, uh, just for anyone confused, because we also thought about this, Cracker of the Week is not limited to white people. Cracker <laughs> literally means like a saltine cracker. That's the context we're using it for. We don't know how other people use it. I don't know it. how the heck that... What even is it? Cracker? I don't know. It's like a random word, like... Literally, Emily hit the keyboard like this, and we're like, what is that word? How did I even say that? It has no relation. It's it's just a word that we chose because, I don't know, like, there's a glitched or something. I think it must have been an electrical storm. <laughs> it was, like, glitched or something happened to the outlet or something. Or like- All right. Okay, so let's just go through this week's picks. 
We got week two, Liam's pick. His name is Denny there, Skip. There's no way that's his real name. Denny Skip. This guy's going to be hard to not be Cracker of the Week. Go, go, full screen. I tell you what I want right now. Vibe to this, come alive right now. Get high to this, be revived to the sound of that bliss. Share the feeling all around. Come move like this, come move like this. You got to zoom through the room, we're coming through like this. And now dancing, moving through your follow through a trance. So I'm getting a little bit of LMFAO hints here and there. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. actually exactly what I was thinking, too. Wow. Um, yeah, that was actually, I actually really enjoyed that. Yeah. What do you mean? I love it. I did. Okay, I got to say something. Go back, start over. The fit threw me off. I saw the jacket and I was worried about what I was about to see, but it was good. This is not all he had. There's. Oh, I'm sure there's more, but hey, brother, you only get one shot. You don't get to sing three songs on the voice. Can you lend a brother a pencil? All right. Denny Skip. I also Great. like that the lyrics made sense. I, I always hate when the lyrics made sense. That was the only problem I had with Nathaniel Scorch. His lyrics were too good. All right. Now we have one of Will's picks. Kevlon is his name. That's pretty sick. Really good. I like the, uh, he's using like a GTA character for his music video. Or did you think that was a real person? I didn't think it was a real person. I'm wondering, is that even him? Oh, there's no way it's him. Did AI it's... create this musician? You know what it is? It's probably ChatGPT. Yeah. Have we talked about ChatGPT? We should. We should get into it. It's insane. It's like, I don't even know how like, they're getting like the, the... It's like if they came out with like a new paper and everyone used that. <laughs> oh, you know what we were talking about? It's all the Taylor Swift AI porn. Oh, yeah. That's a thing? Yeah. How'd you not hear about this? Because I don't want to watch Taylor Swift getting fucked. Okay, first how, of all, how that's a that, lie. That's a lie. How was that the conclusion you made? You don't want to see Travis Kelsey pinning Taylor Swift down. Was he in them? No. But uh, it's, you, it, you don't know. I saw I saw one. They're like AI-generated images. I saw one. It was like Taylor Swift. Uh, pog. <laughs> You you don't want to see, you said I don't want to see Taylor Swift getting fucked. Okay, so yeah, what it's it's uh it's gonna be a crazy legal issue. And Tyler was trying to argue like, no, this is so. What's gonna happen is like Tyler's argument was awful. Then no, no, this is it. I was like, this is gonna make things a lot worse. And Tyler's like, no, no, this will be better because then anyone can be like, that's not real. Yeah, his argument was actually asinine. He was, dude, they could do that to. Eventually, they're gonna be doing that to everyone. And we were like, yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. And he goes, no, but it's like. Then everyone will have them. But so nobody will it, care. Like yeah. no, everyone's gonna still fucking care. Yeah, everyone will still care very much. I think that they're going. They're taking it to Congress. Congress. I hope so. Maybe it'll be like illegal to make the AI of people similarly to like how you you can't send people distribute people. Dude, because they're names. they're doing that at like fucking kids in high school are making yeah. like deep fake yeah. It's fucked it's up. It's bad. It's really like there, wasn't there. There was a girl that. Killed herself because a kid made deep fake porn of her and sent it around. Oh, that was me. That was you? Yeah. She didn't kill herself. I made, no, it, look, she, I made it look like that. What? I made it look like that. She didn't kill herself. Thank you, Kevlon. Kevlon, uh, his name is a... Uh, that's a strong name. Kevlon's a really Kevlon, good name. Kevlon, that is a superstar name. And uh, hey, That's a name I want on my team. This came out six years ago, but I was late to the party, and I think a lot of people might be as well. No! What? All right. Well, this will allow this one, but you, no submissions. It's only what your feed gives you. Because this is no, this was on my feed. This was I, I got this. Oh, oh, I got okay. this on TikTok, but I just want this is the full video. The TikTok is like five seconds long. Yeah, guys, don't send us your fucking music. Yeah, we're not gonna listen to. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't care. It's just that the rules are it has to come up on your feed organically. Because I could easily find a yeah, I could find a superstar anywhere. All right. This next person is called Complete. I thought his name was Jordan and that the song name was Complete, but it like based on the name of the YouTube channel, it's Complete. Thanks, Sam. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, <gasps> come on. This is really dark. That's pretty dark. Tell the audio listener. Watch his art. He's holding a noose and he's sitting in a warehouse factory type place. Empty. I really wish you would leave me alone I just want to be by my own for a second But you always got to creep in my dome Always got to speak in my zone So you know what I reckon I reckon you're just as lonely as I am I reckon you're just lonely as me I reckon you want to see me break So you feed me bait Cause you know what I need Yeah I know what you need Oh please can you just listen up Just sip a shot and not interrupt for once I mean fuck This just isn't fun I've been stuck in this rut But I'm done with you Fuck you cunt Fuck you too Fuck you shut up Cut up Just do it one two Nah I ain't ever falling for that again I don't want my mother to look at me Like I'm nothing but a I just want to have a moment of peace. I just want to go to sleep without you always calling me a boner. Saying that I can't stop. That was the good part. There's more. Oh, sorry. It gets better than this. There's a really funny. Stay sober and I should make a rope with the shades. I just want to focus on baits. Focus on making the dopest release. Nah, you should get drunk. You should just jump. You should just dump and explode on the streets. Right. Damn it, man, you make me sick. You've always been a crazy prick I remember the days that we played as kids And you'd say I should go to the neighbor's place And set flames to it Take a sip, oh yeah, take a sip, take part. a sip Shit, that's three factors I'm trapped in the way you act You're just mad that your brain is tapped You're the same as your crazy dad You're a maniac Fuck you, you don't know what it's like to be so messed up That you hope that you die when you're over your life And you know that you might put a knife to your throat as you cry But I chose to survive because I think I could focus and try more Don't want to die from emotions I hide You couldn't care that I'm broken inside You just poke and provoke to the moments of Good. I like when Very they heavy. I like when they cut to the wide, and the the the, the guy he's talking to himself isn't there. He's talking to no one. I thought that was oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, direct direct. So he has really good flow. He's a great voice. Mm -hmm. Oh, he has like followers. This is fifteen million views. Mm -hmm. I think his lyrics are very good, but I want to cry now. He's uh he's got a great voice. Although I was a little thrown off with the production value of the... It almost sounded like he recorded it out of a phone. Yeah, it didn't sound that good. No, it sounded fine. It was just like the beat was really well produced, and then it sounded like the audio wasn't there. Hmm. That was great, though. I want that to be my cracker of the week. I'm not even confident about mine now. But B-Pat is, you know, solid name. Final pick from Will, B Pat. This is my cracker of the month. Brand new lip job, pumped up tits. Trash can mouth, cause she dumped truck dick. I'm about to blow like cum bush skin. Whole squad full of bros that'll come bust chins. Go broke, rather have my nuts plucked off. Green, I'll be on it like putt putt golf. Tap my head like duck duck goose, cause this beat got me lit like it come from shoes. She an outcast, she can hold my flu. But I guess that's just what sluts do. All my shows be like Janet at the Super Bowl. Everybody talking about untucked boobs, untouched flow, untouched pen. Ex girls wish I could unfuck them. You can tell jokes with your dumb fuck friends, but funny guys die like uncut gems. Going a wall, Amelia Earhart. <laughs> I mean, that's the cracker of the week, dude. The cracker think, of the I'm week. I'm so sorry, but I think Fuck. that wins. Fuck. I know. Fuck. I think I, I, I knew I was gonna dumpster you. Ex when I saw what you were leading with, I knew I was gonna dumpster you. Damn it, dude! I thought you. I damn it. I know. I fuck. I thought Liam had it. This Ex week. dude, dude. Ex and then the best part is the pumped up kick. Yeah, what the fuck? In. Ex girls wish they could unfuck me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is a crazy line. Yeah, why would you? Why are you saying that? Like, <laughs> it's like that's a they, bad thing. They wish I never had sex. They with wish them. I never. It's not, it's like I fucking raped them. Every, or every girl I've ever fucked wishes they could <laughs> unfuck themselves. Dude, I am a god. My out. The thing is, my algorithm is it's in its prime. Your algorithm is one of the. F <sighs> Can we watch some? <laughs> you can pull up the iron lung video. <laughs> Never mind. What are you pulling um, out? I, don't know, I was trying to see if I have floss. Sorry, this is irrelevant. You're trying to. See, you're gonna floss your teeth right now in the middle of this podcast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, is this a joke or a setup? No, no, no. Sorry, I was just being serious. You just decided half an hour in, you're gonna floss your teeth for a second. Actually, mm -hmm. that's crazy. I've had something in my tooth. I know. It's just very weird. 
That's all I've been thinking about for like 10 minutes. I don't want to shame your gen- dental hygiene, but what the hell? What the fuck? What the heck? What wait, the heck? wait a second. All right, so I think we all decide. Okay, so dude, I'm up 2 0. You're a pussy. Yeah, fuck, dude. Fuck. Shout out B Pat the rapper. You know what's great about my algorithm? That was probably a uh, four, uh, probably 40% hit rate. Those were two, probably the last five songs I saw were those two. Two of those were the, I can't talk today. Oh, man. Well, <clears throat> be Pat. Bring your A game next week. No one thought Angus would go up 2-0. Hey, it ain't, a ser- it ain't a series till you lose at home. You better carry next week. So I, I had home court advantage. I was the one seed. I got to come in hot next week, dude. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck ow. Fuck ow. Fuck ow. Fuck ow. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, That's the master frequency. Speaking of crackers. FYI. You know, <clears throat> my, uh, I got an old man rant I'll hit you with. Taking a quick break from the episode, guys. This episode is brought to you by Southern Comfort. With an innovative blend of fruit and spices, SoCo Whiskey is the original ready for anything spirit. Satisfying on its own and ideal in any mixed drink. Wow, sounds like the perfect liquor to me. Southern Comfort is tasteful and approachable however you drink it and whoever you drink it with. Gods, I remember. Southern Comfort original. That's what I would drink in college when I had a little extra spending money. I'd stop drinking that Kentucky Deluxe, that shitty, shitty whiskey, and I would upgrade. And I'd say, I want to get something nice. I'm going to get the SoCo original. They also have SoCo Black. Uh, That's delicious. Uh, It has a whiskey kick with a hint of sweetness. It's suave. It's complex. It's welcomingly simple to use in any cocktail of your choosing. No matter the moment, Southern Comfort is ready for anything. Packed with flavor, mixes with anything, and easy to drink. Next time you're at the bar, go ahead and order some SoCo Sour Shots. One part SoCo, two parts sour mix. They're delicious and guaranteed to keep the party going. Guys, it's great. Give it a try. Let's get back into the episode. This is... uh your old cracker ranted this is my old this is my old man rant about this is my old cracker rant about other crackers oh okay white high school athletes doing the wipe your nose celebration yeah what's up with that and what is that your life dude it's i hey i'm glad everyone's having fun and we're all playing sports and getting our play 60s in yeah you you couldn't look like more you can of, look like a more of a loser of a, a loser fraud. you are a it's uh, like emily it's when uh it's usually when a this is a, a five nine slot receiver on a d2 college team gets a three yard first down and he does this or it's oh. or it's a a jv baseball player named caleb fucking hits a triple and he gets on third base and he goes <laughs> Stop it! Don't do that! Don't do that, please! They invented it! It was cool! Don't ruin it! The gritty's ruined! You ruined everything! It's okay. And that's my cracker <laughs> rant of the week. <laughs> Dude, I want to. So, I, okay, I like this. We'll parlay it. We'll go from cracker of the week to cracker rant. Cracker rant of the Cracker week. Cracker rant of the week, yeah. That actually, that celebration actually makes me so mad. Fucking Disney goofy motherfuckers. <laughs> goofy. You look goofy. I saw one that literally, like, it, it, it made me, it was literally a kid sliding Oh, Muhammad to Ali used to do it. That's what the top comment says. That's sick. I don't know if I believe that. You can say anything on Reddit. You're probably wondering, hey, Liam, why does your uh, TikTok feed give you high school athletes highlights? I love the game. You're a, he's an X's and O's guy. Yeah. Liam, that's why you're so good at chess. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, man. Except the, the one time we've played chess, I bodied you. I don't know if you bodied me. Mm, it's pretty close. I still remember you left your rook open on the... Far right. No, it's not how I went down. Hmm, I actually remember it was at the Sunday office. I remember too, it was on the glass table. Uh, ah! All right, Emily, we were doing something. We what like happened? weren't, though. What happened? Wait, how did. Wait, what did this happen? Wait, hold on, I got something to talk about. Ah! Dude, my, uh, my best friend just got engaged. One of my best friends just got engaged to one of my other really great friends. 
That's amazing. It's making me feel old. I'm happy for them, but I'm feeling old. It's about me. I don't know how they could do this to me. You mind if we cut that part? Yeah, sure. I was just like, what the hell is he freaking talking about? Just let me know when you're done. I'm like ready to move on. Ready to move on. Okay, they're remaking Avatar. Were you a big fan of the show? (laughs) Don't do this. Did you ever watch the show? No fucking shit. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I watched Avatar. Who has You don't do Avatar? anything. You just you've been drinking since you were eleven years old and you like watch sports. It's like all you do. Anyway, my brother went to see the M Night Shyamalan version of Avatar. The but they did the live action remake like ten years ago. First of all, crazy move to have him direct those. That was M Night, right? Yeah. Um, insane move to think that he could, that he should be able to sniff that franchise. My brother went opening day because he was a big Avatar fan. And he said the girl in front of him when they were leaving the theater was bawling, crying. Because how Because it was so bad. That's awesome. She was bawling, crying. I've never heard of a movie do that to someone. We should watch it because I've only heard about how shitty it is. You haven't seen it? Not the live action M. Night movie. Okay, Wait, Emily. I'm confused because you just said the show. Okay, so there's a TV show, a cartoon the Air, show, the Avatar Airbender. The Last Airbender. Yeah. And then they made it into a movie in like 2020. Oh, they oh. made that into a movie. They they tried to make it into a movie. Okay. They made that into a movie in 2012. And now they're remaking it, but into a TV show on Netflix. And it looks so much better. Um, if you haven't seen Avatar, go watch it. The first season is kind of like a kid show. It's kind of hard to get through, to be honest. But then the it's worth it because the rest of the show is incredible. Me and my brother always say like, "Yep, yep, yep, yep." Um, I think, little I think that's right. Appa, uh, Appa, Appa, yep, yep. Hey, lions! All you lions! I don't, I'd restore the roar, my, my lions fans, listeners out there. Hey, guys, it was a good run. It was a good run. There's nothing at all that Jared Goff could have done more. He did everything. Hey, man. Got to be catching those balls, receivers. That's, that's That's my dad take. They should be in the fucking Super Bowl, but whatever. They should be. At least see Max in there, dog. I have a good therapy couch. Oh. This one is uh, this one is a good window into the type of person I am. Do you want to sit on the couch or? Nah, you know what? I want to sit here and I want to look at Liam in the eyes when I tell him. Hey, thanks. When I was in, I want to say se- sixth grade, maybe seventh grade, sixth grade. I took my dad's camera and I got a tripod. And I found out if you snap a bunch of photos and then you go on Microsoft Movie Maker and you scroll through them, it like rapidly plays them. So it's like stop motion. And I was uh, doing this for like a few months. I was like making little stop motion videos on the camera. It's actually really fun. And then um, my... Wait, I'm waiting for the plane. I think you should... uh, I'll put it beforehand, but like... Explain what therapy couch is for new listeners. We don't get new listeners, but okay. Yes, I think therapy couch the title looks <laughs> <laughs> Don't be rude. And so one day I get one of those like wooden figurines of people where you can move the hands and arms and elbows. It's like a blank face. It's a wooden thing. And I was What do you mean you get one? My mom was a, uh, she did like interior design and stuff. And she gave her like one of these uh, (laughs) for like something. I can't remember. She went to some conference and they gave her one. How big is it? It's like this tall. It was just a person you could, you could put their arms and legs. I think it's like for art. 
It's for art. Okay, gotcha. And she got one at a conference, and I was like, you do, using it for stop motion. My brother's friend came over, and he walked into the living room and saw me doing it, and he goes, what is that? And I was like, oh, it's like a stop motion. And he goes, that's really fucking weird. And he walked out, and I threw it away, and I never did stop motion again. Oh. <laughs> What a fucking cunt, dude. Or what an asshole. <laughs> I remember being like, yeah. Yeah. No, I know that. Dude. <laughs> that sucks. That bummed me out, man. Fuck. You could be, you, I know, right? You could be Tim Burton right now, man. I know. But now I'm well, but now I'm Will from Friday Beers. That's that's even sicker. Love you, man. Love you, man. Love you so much, man. Love, love collaborating with you, man. Cheers, man. Love collaborating with Cheers, you, man. Cheers, man. We're, we're symbiotic. Yes. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh, that sucks. I have one. It was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, I don't have any more on that. Wait, qu- well, quickly, can you just... People know what therapy couch means. It says therapy couch. Nobody's ever right. going to be confused by that. Okay, go. Okay, real quick, I want to do a therapy couch, may I? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> What the okay. f- what the fuck is that? Okay, <laughs> Emily wants. What this. the fuck is about to happen? <laughs> Got it. Can we leave in Emily asking us to explain it over and over again? Yes, we have to keep all of this. Yes, please, please. Fine, go. All right, uh, you're doing your job. Yeah. What if someone joins this podcast for the first time and doesn't know what that means? Then, then they, they, they should <laughs> never listen again. <laughs> they should, and their mom should check them into a hospital. And make sure 80% of their brain isn't missing. They should put on the biggest winter jacket I've ever seen and walk around the center of town. <laughs> what does that mean? Do you guys didn't have that guy? Uh, growing up, we had a guy. Uh, like a homeless guy? No, no, no. Uh, mentally challenged fella. But he would walk around all day in the center of town with the biggest winter jacket I've ever seen. And you think... I don't know if every town. Has you think one that's of those. a universal experience? I feel like every town's got. A, a, what uh, about Miami, Liam? Still, when it's hot, you could. Well, it, what maybe, about Phoenix, Arizona? Maybe they have different, like poncho or something. I don't know. All right. Anyway, they should be checked into a hospital and probably put down. Okay. Well, Liam, what's your therapy couch? I was. I don't know. Whenever uh, I just had sex by a lonely island came out. Mm-hmm. I was hanging out with my next door neighbor, or my growing up, my next door neighbor this weekend, and uh, I forgot about the story. But so we were in the same grade. Her name's Brooke, and I was hanging out at her house. And it was just her grandma home, and I was like, "Oh my god, I just saw this music video. It's so fucking funny. I'll show it to you." So I played the "I Just Had Sex" music video on her laptop. It's connected to the speakers. It's playing really loudly, and her grandma runs in. And thinks that I'm showing her porn or something. Can't really figure it out. And just kicks me out. And it's like, you have to go home. And I remember like trying to explain what the Lonely Island was. And she wasn't having it. Oh, she wasn't mean or anything about it. But I was. I remember being like, oof, oof, oof. Yeah. That's pretty brutal. Yeah. Making yeah. a grandma feel uncomfortable. It's Kyla's calling card. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kyle's calling card is leaving his favorite porn video on your laptop. Oh, dude. Please it. find the same porn video pulled up every single time. All right. Taking a quick break, guys, to talk to you about our sponsor, Squarespace. We actually made our website with Squarespace. You surprised? Because it looks so, it looks so, it's like, oh, did the same guys who made Apple's website make your website? Our website looks so good. I hey heck, I might even make I might even make one. Make one about all my bugs I collect. I can trade and sell bugs online with Squarespace. Probably what I'm gonna end up be probably what I'm going to end up do doing. Heck, you know what? I might make some merch from my bugs. Make a Squarespace website, sell my merch from there. Sell my merch from the pod there. Who knows? But with Squarespace, they give you the tools and they make it easy to make a website and finally start that business you've been talking about. Get up off your ass and do it. And do it with Squarespace. And you can use our code at www.squarespace.com slash Friday. And you're going to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. Let's get back into the episode. All right, let me do my character. It's really bad, so let's just get it out of the way. 
All right, we're working on a new movie in the writer's room, and I'm um, I'm Frankie Square. Oh. We're working in the writer's room, and I was the, I'm the guy who created Cars, the hit movie Cars. And there's a writer's room for, I don't know, make up a show. I feel like, uh, I don't know. It feels like it resolves too quickly. It feels like they they don't dis- discuss what happened to them enough. What do you guys think? I don't I don't I don't know. It just because it just feels like climax resolution. It doesn't feel like climax falling action resolution. It just feels like climax. Resolution. You want my opinion? Please, yeah. I mean, there's a simple fix. Great. What is it? Look. Yeah, I be, you know I worked at Pixar for 10, 15 years. So I don't give this advice out to listen to myself talk. I don't give this advice out to pump my own tires. Um, when you hired me a showrunner, I told you I was going to be tough on you. But I told my same writers this every time on Bugs Life. I told him this on Up. I told him this on Incredibles. It all boils down to this. Where's the talking car? What? Where's the car? Where's the talking car? There isn't one on this show. And therein lies the problem. There wasn't one in uh, the movies you just brought up. Bugs Life are up. I never saw them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no talking cars in those. So they didn't take your advice. No, no, no. No, I'm talking about Bugs Life. Like the blue ant? Yeah. No talking car. Talking blue ants and other bugs. Talking bugs in Bugs Life. Ants talking ants. No talking car. Up talking old people, dead old woman. No talking dog. No talking car. No, no. Uh, th- sorry. There must be some confusion. I told them to add in the talking car. So that was me. So that's your advice for this show? Sorry. How many movies... Did your franchise get? Because Cars got four, and they spun it off into planes. How many is this it? Oh, we're at the first iteration, right? So maybe you shut the fuck up and listen to the guy that wrote fucking Cars. They didn't even have a talking car and up? How'd he get to the ravine then? How'd he get to the mountain? It just ruined my fucking life. You understand that? How? If there are no cars and up, how'd he get to the ravine? How'd he drive up the mountain? Hence the fucking name, dumbass. I'm gonna throw a little crazy, crazy, crazy thing your way. Okay. Let's go to the bathroom right now and I'll suck you dry. I don't know what happened right now, but I've never been so hot for another human being in my life. I've never been gay up until this moment, but take me to the bathroom and pull down your pants. You're telling me I'm about to get head from one of the head writers? Yeah. ka All right, that's it. <laughs> I don't know where to go, dude. I just offered to give you head. Sorry. <laughs> I liked it a lot. Oh, I was going to go into each movie. It's okay. It's a shitty character. I, I liked it. But the idea is he doesn't realize that. He hasn't seen any of those movies, and he thought they all had talking cars. I kept trying to think of what the show you were actually making is, but I, I kept edge, just being an edge lord. I didn't want to say any of them. All right. <laughs> that was fine. Go on. You are Uber driver Logan Wound, and I'm Stir Fry, your passenger. Come on. And I said, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have homework, and it's to come up with a real name for the next episode. What was your last one? Frankie Square. Fucking dog shit, dude. Logan Wound isn't a real name. Stir Fry. Stir Fry. I'm obviously talking about Stir Fry and Eyeball Man and Bubble Wrap. Everyone yeah. loved Eyeball Man. Those are hood classics, dude. <laughs> those are absolutely certified hood classics. I went platinum in the hood with those, dude. <laughs> no features. <laughs> no features. Didn't know, Triple no, platinum, Eyeball Man, no features. No Drake cosign, none of that bullshit, dude. All right, Straight up uh, Mac Miller and- All right, I'm Logan Wound. All right, all right. I'm driving you your stir fry. I'll, I'll set it up again because you fucked it. One more quick break from the episode, guys. Just wanted to direct you to the Friday Beers shop. Got a lot of cool merch there. Make sure you use FridayBeers.shop and use code FRIDAY15 for 15% off. Let's get back into the episode. 
I'm Logan, or sorry, fuck. You're Logan Wound. You're an Uber driver. I'm your passenger, stir fry. I secretly puked, and you're just starting to smell it. Okay. Ooh. So, is that the highway? Is that the highway? Do you smell that? Do you smell that? Or what? What? It smells like the highway or something. No, I just... Oh, dude, that smells horrible. Oh, man, I'm, oh. I'm sorry. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's fucked. Ooh, ew. Dude. Ooh, dude. You're covered in puke. Did you just throw what up? What the fuck, dude? Your car, there's a pile of... Dude. There's puke all over your legs and shoes. Come on, man. What I the gotta hell, pull man? Over. This is... Dude, I pulled... The guy, I got in here. I must have sat in a pile of puke or something. <laughs> Putting it in park. This what, is... What did you do? Are you drunk, dude? You got to get out. No, I don't even... You got to get out. Here, I'm unlocking It's not you. even mine. I'm sorry. You got to get out here. Well, it's not mine. Come on, man. I can't do any rides the rest of the night. Because I got to get this cleaned. I'm sorry. I'm, you're going to have to pay a $200 fee. I'm rolling around your backseat. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on. All right. I'm going to show Uber this. I'm rolling, I'm rolling my puke into your backseat, dude. Stop. Stop. You can't stop me. Why? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> I'm rubbing, what it, I do I'm wrong? rubbing it into your seats. What did I do wrong? Nothing. I'm lunatic. So I have this passenger. I'm recording this. I have this passenger I'm puking all this. over my backseat. I puked in this guy's Uber driver and I'm rubbing it in. What are you doing? I puked in his Uber and I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing it into the seats. Can you get out? Yeah, I'm sorry. Why'd you do that? Hey, 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 what's wrong? Why'd you puke all over my seats? Just like I'm 25, I don't know. If, uh, what do I have to show for it, you know? I just feel like I haven't done enough in my life yet, so I thought maybe if I got into your Uber and I puked in the back seat and I rolled around, I, I smeared it all over the back seat and I rubbed it in. Into, into the the seatbelt holders, and I got into the cracks of the seatbelt holders, and I got my puke into the little holder behind the the seats that uh, know, like maybe 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 I well, have something for like. I'm sorry, I got mad at you. I didn't realize your perspective. I just feel like I don't know. So many other people my age have accomplished so much by now. I just feel like I haven't done that much. Yeah. So I feel like maybe I don't know. Maybe if I just got back here and just threw up and rubbed it in as hard as I could so that you'll never be able to get it out that I don't know something mm -hmm. I'd be someone yeah you ruined my car though dude I know I'm sorry I don't <clears throat> this is a custom car I could give you a head I can't fix this I got you look around you see where I, I got this car from Pit My Ride I was on Pit My Ride oh shit yeah season 3 oh yeah shit Season three, episode four. Is that what the subwoofer is? That was, that's that shook me, dude. Exhibit told me I had the pass. Exhibit told you you had the pass. Yeah. Did you use it? Mm-hmm. Immediately, he didn't like that. I used it too quick. Yeah. I was too excited about Ex it. Exhibit, do not play like that. No. That's stir fry. That's stir fry. <laughs> Great. That was fun. I didn't know I was gonna start rubbing it in. I could tell. I didn't know. No, I know. I could tell you didn't know that's where it was going. <laughs> I just knew I wanted to, like, pretend I... That's really funny. It's just a guy rubbing rubbing his own puke into a Uber. Um, do you have another one? I do not. Okay. That's the episode, guys. Yeah, we got it. It's a little bit of a shorter episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, though. Um, we'll, uh, we'll have, a, uh, we'll have a, a, a heater coming for you on Tuesday. We got a very special guest next week. One of our good friends that we both met out here. You met him doing stand-up. So stay tuned. That'll be a fun episode. And then, um, Liam, you're on tour this weekend? Yes. Um, Today's Thursday, so. Today is Thursday. I am in D.C. tonight. But it's probably sold out. <laughs> Knowing yeah. color from Friday Beers? Yeah, good, uh, good luck getting a ticket, you fucking rat. <laughs> yeah. Houston Saturday, Austin. Probably sold out. Sunday. No, Houston's 
not, and it's not close. So please buy some tickets. D, uh, or Houston Saturday, Austin Sunday. Austin, I'm with the great Willie Simon. Oh yeah, yeah. What? It's gonna be a great show. Willie's coming with me. I'm so pumped. He's coming with you, or he's already there. He's uh, he's coming with me, and I think he's he might he's probably going the the on Friday to do shows. Can I come? Huh? To Austin? Yeah. Yeah. Go to Austin. You want to go to Liam's show? Ooh, I have a new uh, I have a new fun bit I want to pitch you. I don't know if it's too hack. All right. Well, I'll, I'll tell you after. All right. But thank you. Thank you guys for uh, for uh, listening and tuning in. We love you as always. Tom Brady was on Pat McAfee's show this morning. He was? Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'll watch that. Yeah. yeah well, he's going to start his broadcasting career next year. I can't wait for that. It's going to be so good. He's going to be really good. He's. I think he's going to be like Tony Romo where everyone loves him. Yeah. Even though they hated him while he was in the league. Okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, see you next time.